G'day. Today we're just going to do a bit of a review, a bit of a setup of these uh, roll top aluminium tables. They're, I think they're fairly generic. This one's a Wanderer. I think there's a Spin FX. They weigh just over three kilos, or three three point two kilos. I'll put it up on the screen, and I'll put the dimensions up on the screen as well. But basically, I wanted something just to be able to roll up cylindrical as opposed to flat, just so I can stick it in the side of the van here or in the back of the vehicle instead of taking up a big um, square's footprint. Before I go over the pros and cons, I'll just show you how easy it is to set up. So basically you've got that bit. You've got your roll top. That's your roll top there, as you can see. You've got your two cross rails. So basically it's like your gazebos. It just pulls out like so. Or like the chairs, camping chairs. Once you get there, you can just push it up around. And you've got these pop rivets here, which is basically just, that limits how far it goes up. So it's, it's very cheap construction. You wouldn't want to put it on a, on a great angle because it'll, those, these legs, it's so light, they'll just bend. So you just got to have a bit of respect for it in that sense. And you've got these little pins here. And you've got these holes right there. These pins line up. But what I've done, I've just put marks here, here and here. So I know exactly where, it, just to line up those pins. So I know it's come in a little bit, like so. And then here you've got these little two cups on one end and they just slip over these rails. So you can just, just lay, the, lay the, the roll top on the top there, let it take the weight and just slide these over like so. And then you've got these clips here, which just clip onto these rails, spring loaded plastic clips. And that's all it is. Okay, you can do the normal method like I just did before, lay it on the top, like so. But I found an easier way of doing it, is just lay the table on its side. But you want these cross rails here, just picture them as tent poles, vertical. These two cross rails, it doesn't matter which way, you can do it this way. But effectively the reason I'm doing this way is because sometimes these cups, if you're sort of doing it blind, but at least this way you can see exactly, so you just want to lay the table to take the roll top on top here and these cups here they actually go on there which is self-explanatory but I, I just want quick setup so you can just lay those over the top you know exactly where they're going to go so that's on there and because the table's so light you can just flip it up and then you have these little bits that go on there so you can just roll that over feel where they go and you can see here Gonna pull that up tight a little bit and it's ready to go. We'll just go over the pros first, so it's lightweight, portable. As far as easy setup, once I put those marks on there, cross rails, because initially I used to sort of fumble a little bit just trying to line those pins up, had to turn it over and look underneath. I'm sure in time I would have just got it, but I just put those marks on there to make it uh, relatively easy. So it is easy to set up being so portable. You could, you could sling it over your shoulder if you had to travel a little bit of distance. It's only 3.2 3 kilos, so you could, you could move around with it. These aluminium slats are relatively easy to clean. I'm not sure about getting, if you've got some sort of debris in between the slats, that could be a different story, but if you did roll it up, you could expose those edges and clean it. The cons with it is the construction. It's very flimsy in a sense that if you're not on a level surface, so just be mindful, I think it's rated for 30 kilos on a really flat surface and really nice ground. You know, you could probably go over that. If you were to, if it was to transfer that weight to one leg, these legs would just bend in a, in a heartbeat. I'm not sure if this model is being discontinued, but they are basically a generic table. There are better quality roll-up tables, which these, these brands have probably copied. 
which I'm yet to try. I want something, you know, I wanted a lightweight, portable. Look into the construction of these because there is varying qualities. The other con is too, is the bag. I don't know if it's a con. I do struggle to get everything in there in a hurry. It does fit. It's not, not as bad as a sleeping bag. You want something small and compact, so it has to roll up tight, fit into a small space, because that's what we're actually, ultimately what we're after. Otherwise, we'd go for a bigger table. The other con could be that getting in the bag sometimes is a bit of a squeeze, but I do like the smaller footprint, so that's something I'm willing to sacrifice, something that sort of folds up compact, and you can stow it away in, in a vertical position, lay it down on the side. We have eaten off this quite a few times. You can come out and do a bit of work in the bush on your computer or whatever, chill out. Be careful, just don't overpay for something like this really look into the quality of these tables. Eventually I'll probably look into the better quality ones, which are probably three, four times the price, but long-term they might be a wise investment.